Hi guys. Well, look who's chatting on the Insta today. Mr. Shammer Boy. Shammer Boy. I only know this because my old mate, Cinema Shogun, made a video. I'm blocked. I'm blocked by Sam and I can't be bothered to make a fake account to go and look at his crappy posts. But thanks, buddy. And thanks for the freaking shout out. I appreciate that because, yeah, my channel has suffered and it sucks eggs. But, you know, cinema, go and watch him. Just as he said, go and watch my videos. Same, same. You feel me? You dig? But let's have a quick listen to this uh, little story that Mr. Shama Boy put out today. <laughs> Oh man, just seeing his face again, it makes me laugh. There's something about this man's face that makes me laugh a lot. But uh, let's have a quick listen. It's only a minute long and I'll be back afterwards to, you know, give you my snazzy opinion. Hmm? Um, the last thing I want to do is, is speak on my wife's behalf. I would never do that. I respect her privacy. That's why I don't talk as much. And I found it absolutely disgusting for the people that were in her life at the time. When she didn't have a voice, they went and told her story like it was theirs. It was absolutely disgusting. And how are you going to take the most influential person of our generation, the princess of pop, America's sweetheart, and put her in prison where her father tells her what to do, what water to drink, who to see, and use her as a money-making machine. And then all of a sudden, after 15 years, when she's free after all those gaslighting and after all those, those things that went down, now you're gonna put her under a microscope and tell her story? No. No. That's also disgusting, so don't do that. And don't believe what you read online. 99% of the time, those are all clickbaits for you to click and for them to make money. And that, that time is over. You know, not going to allow that. And that, that should stop. It should stop. Absolutely. The gaslighting and all that shit. Well, there you go. Hey, Shama Bois, we agree on one thing. Britney should never have been put into a conservatorship because what we're seeing now is someone who is deranged. She's deranged because she was locked up for 13 years. I agree on that. But Sam, you're talking out both sides of your mouth. You say, don't believe everything you see in the media. 99% is not true. Well, it, aren't you on social media saying shit? So what? I, I believe, I have to believe you, but I can't believe media outlets. Right, right, right. I just needed to clear that one up. <laughs> and by the way, you love talking to TMZ. What the hell are you talking about, young man? Like, you will do anything. You talk to TMZ the longest out of most famous people because most of them just give a little boop, 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 and then they're the next. But you have big chats, and I've got one coming up. It was a month ago, and it's a TMZ Aussie reporter. A bloody awesome. And uh, Sammy's just talking about his new big blockbuster film, you know, where he's just left, right, centre knocking people's blocks off because he's a beast of a man and talking about how one day he might make a movie with Britney. Really? Really? Well, we got to get a, just calm her down for a minute, hey? But I just feel he was very sly. He had the hat down very low in this video that's about to come up and you're going to see his hat is nearly almost over his eyes because he's, he's really struggling I think he's struggling to not tell the truth, which is this TMZ doco is coming out tomorrow and a allegedly Britney attacked him, hit him, you know, a bit of DV. She was all amped up on coffee and Red Bull <laughs> and she fly kicked him. No, I shouldn't laugh about that. Come on, take it seriously. But it's weird that he's put that story out that you've just watched today on Instagram knowing that this doco is coming out tomorrow. 
It's all a lot of backpedaling. It's all a lot of, you know, smoking mirrors with Shammer Boy, Shammer Boy. But let's have a quick watch of him talking to TMZ. Remember, only four weeks ago. He's very chatty. He's Chatty Cathy. Let's go, Chatty. What's up, bro? How are you? What's up, brother? How you doing? It's good to see you. What, what are you coming back from shooting, bro? I can't tell you that. You, you a top secret? Not top secret, but you know, you got to... Secret enough. You got to respect the contracts and all that. Right. Secret enough. Is it a big one, though, Blockbuster? Absolutely. Ah, oh, I love to see you. You got your own yeah. director chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the first time. Are you that was fun to see. Actually. Yeah. I'm not done yet. I'm just visiting Los Angeles real quick. Oh, you gonna hang out with your girl? Yeah. That's yeah. nice, man. Um, do you do you think that will Britney come visit you on set? You reckon? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes, that will be a lot of fun. Oh, really? When's she planning That'll to come be out? A lot of fun. Can't tell you that either. Oh, all right. Do you think? Can I just say, man, you you got she's an actress too. Do you think that maybe one day you guys would do something together? Nice little rom com or something? I hope so. I hope so. I think she's a great actress, actually, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope one day that would be a dream come true. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah. Wait, waiting for the right script? Yes. Would it have to be a rom-com? Maybe I write the script. I don't know. Maybe you write it. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's an action film because uh, yeah. she's very athletic. So maybe, you know, she's able to, you know, jump up and take a few people and do a bunch of stunts. I think she'll be really good at that. Because I see you do your own stunts and you do your own, you're your shooting and you're your beating people up. Yeah. She could do the same. Absolutely, of course. Sam, let me ask you this. How is, how is she doing? She's doing great. Thank doing you. Doing good? She's happy? Yes, sir. All right. I think we're here. Right. Sam, Sam let, me ask, let me ask you something. Is there any merit to the, I mean, Brittany aside, is there any merit to the conservatorship idea? Do you see any positives in, in the, just the idea? Absolutely not. The conservatorship was a total bullshit move. It should have never happened. It should be illegal to put anybody under the conservatorship. And that was the worst thing that's ever happened in this country. This is the country of freedom. And that should have never happened, especially to her. Look, I don't know about you guys, but that's what I thought Sam sounded like, that dog. <laughs> Just rap, rap. You're like Charlie Brown, wham, 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 wham. whatever, Sam, you just say whatever, whenever it suits you. Like, I understand you've always been on the stance of the conservatorship was a bad thing. And I'm going to tell you, most people would agree. But now we're seeing the fallout of someone that was in a conservatorship for 13 years and has been set free. She can't stop drinking coffee and dancing in her house every day. The poops to mansion every day. It's like, this is what happens. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but when someone has been in prison for 10 years, they're very difficult to re-assimilate into society. And I feel this is what's happened to Brittany. Like she's been in, trapped in this prison life even though she wasn't locked behind bars she pretty much was and now that she's free she's just gone off off her rock star you know what i mean it it's it's very normal and prisoners that have been in a prison for 10 years they generally go back because they can't handle not being told what to do every minute of the day every second lights on lights off you'll eat now you'll do this now it's like that's kind of how Brittany lived and she was in it for 13 years. So she's definitely been institutionalized in some fashion. And this is where they have failed. They have set her free. And now who's helping her? Who's actually guiding her? Cause it feels like nobody is. And it's like, they're like, oh, just let her go, man. She was locked up. She can do what she wants, but she's just looking crazier and crazier every single day. And now TMZ is coming out tomorrow with this doco on her being exceptionally unhinged. I can't wait for it to be quite honest because I believe TMZ. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs>
I said that to piss a lot of people off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, 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 enough. Um, but yeah, I believe it because they're always just reporting on what's going on. They didn't do this to make her look bad because they're not saying she's, you know, on flacker or meth like I say. <laughs> they're saying she drinks too much coffee. Like, what? <laughs> But I think it's a mixture of coffee, Red Bull in, you know, extreme amounts. And plus, she's been institutionalized. And that's where the conservatorship should be illegal for young people. She wasn't that cray cray when she went in. Yeah, she was unruly, unhinged. They couldn't control her. So they did that to her. But the thing is, the outcome is way worse than when she went into it because now she's a changed human being and she ain't no princess of pop anymore and i'll tell you something for free sam she's never going to go and be in a film with you because she's not a lucid thinker anymore i don't believe she would be easily tamed and um you just looked very shifty in that interview that's all that's all i have to say and if you guys are wondering why i cut out the people in my videos it actually avoids copyright believe it or not and tmz are the number one copywriters out there other than anything bravo bravo is the worst that's why i make 15 second clips because i can get away with that but with tmz if i cut all the background out for some reason they don't copyright me don't tell them it's our secret okay because i love putting their videos up and screw you harvey <laughs> Anyways, anyways, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll be back. Don't you bloody worry. I'll be back reviewing this doco. I can't wait. I love Dr. Drew. Can't wait to hear what he has to say. You know, it's going to be big. But it, one of the big outcomes was that she attacked Sam. So that's why everyone's been saying that they're getting divorced and all the rest of it, which I still think they would be. People think that Sam is her handler. Well, yeah, he could be, but he's done a really shit job at it. If he is, he ain't no handler. He just a, a pawn in this wicked game of Britney Spears world. That's all. Anyways, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'm going to see you at the top. I really am. Boy. Cheers, ballers. So we